Hello again, and welcome to another screencast in the Mix and Flow of Matter unit. This one is going to be on density and how we can measure it and what density means. Starting off first, in case uh, we're brand new to the topic, density is uh, defined as the amount of matter within a given volume. Okay, so it's how much stuff or how much matter is packed into a very specific amount of a container, let's say. Okay. Now, density depends on two things. It depends on how big that container is, or the volume, and the amount of mass that's packed in there. Fluids have density, solids, solids have density, uh, gases even have density. It's low, but they have density. Okay, And depending on the density of an object, they'll always arrange themselves from least dense to most dense. And in this picture here, this is called a density column. And in the liquids, we start at the lamp oil, and that's the least dense. So the, it's on the top, <coughs> and the most dense is on the bottom, which would be honey. And they kind of layer in between. The uh, labels on the right, starting with ping pong ball, this is the least dense solid all the way down to the most dense solid. Okay, so they will always arrange themselves uh, within, with density, the ones being least dense uh, closer to the top. Okay? Now we can calculate density by knowing two things, the mass, how much matter is packed in there, and the volume. We represent mass as m and volume as v. The units for these, mass is always in grams, and the volume is always in milliliters. Therefore, our density units are grams per milliliter. If the mass is not in grams, we have to convert it to grams. If the mass is not in milliliters, we have to convert it to milliliters. Okay. Now, traditionally, when we look at something that's dense, Okay, it usually gets more packed. Okay, fluids become more dense as they cool down. Think of uh, uh, cooking oil. If you were to freeze it, it become more dense than the liquid form. Uh, there's one fluid though that doesn't become more dense; it becomes less dense, and that's water. And ice is actually less dense, less dense than water. And we know that because ice floats on water. Okay, so let's little look a little more closely at temperature and density. So you heat up a substance. You give the particles more heat. If you give the particles more heat, then they get, therefore gain energy. And when you give particles more energy, the spaces between the particles begin to increase. So what does this do to density? Well, if the spaces become larger, okay, that means the substance becomes less dense. If the spaces become smaller, the substance becomes more dense. So to sum up, right here, density has to do with the spaces between particles. So relating this to the particle model of matter, a substance that has a high density has particles that are very close together, okay, such as maybe a steel ball or, hey, a can of Pepsi. Pepsi cans will sink in water, so it must be more dense than the water, okay? So the particles are closer together, has a higher density. On the flip side, something that has a low density, the particles are further apart, such as maybe wood or styrofoam, we put those in water, they both float, so therefore they're less dense than the water because the particles are further apart. Okay, so summarizing uh, a density here, when we add heat, that means that we're getting, we're giving particles energy, that means we're making uh, the spaces bigger and the density is lower. If you think of solids or cooling them, the particles have less energy, therefore the spaces are smaller and the density begins to climb or begins to become higher. Okay, now, we learned that density, or we, we briefly discussed here, that density depends on the number and the kind of particles in a volume. Okay, So what do you think happens when you add more particles to a specific volume? Here's what I'm asking. If I add salt to water, what happens to the density of the water? Well, if we're adding salt particles to the water, therefore we're adding more particles to the water and they fill in the spaces. If you're adding particles to the spaces of water, the spaces will eventually become smaller. So increasing the number of particles means that you increase the density since you're actually making this, the spaces smaller. Okay, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty just simple. Space size is, is related to density. Bigger spaces, lower density. That's why gases have a very low density. Okay, this is also why everyone not everybody, but most people will float in the Dead Sea, okay? Because this body of water has so much salt in it that the spaces between the particles are small, and therefore the density is greater. 
compared to a let's say Henderson Lake or even the ocean okay so it's the, the water is more dense that is a very quick run through of density and we spent a lot of time talking about density in class uh, or will spend a lot of time spending talking about density in class so uh, if any questions please bring those and hopefully this gives you an idea of density and how it relates to temperature and how it relates to uh, uh, more particles being added to a substance